And in both. In oh, AFC- oh, Rob Stark, stop the press. Stop the press. Jalen Rager going to the Vikings. To the Vikings? Going to the Vikings, according to Adam Schefter. Eagles are sending Jalen Rager to the Vikings in exchange for a 2023 seventh round pick and a 2024 conditional fourth round pick that would de escalate to a fifth round pick if certain statistical marks are not met. Sources tell ESPN. That's not a bad deal, actually. Boom. D God. Uh, yeah, that's it. You're, you got it, man. Uh, I, You've go. indicated now. Go. Yeah. Go. Absolutely. Yeah, you got it. I, I look. I, I thought the only way he'd be gone was being traded, but yeah, you you were right on it. You said he will not be an eagle. When now here's what's weird: they send Jalen Rager to the team. Yes, that we're talking about pick Justin Jefferson right behind him. Yep, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's uh, let's go through it one more time. So Rager goes to the Vikings in exchange for a 2023 seventh and a 2024 conditional fourth that could only drop as low as a fifth rounder. So you're going to get a seventh and a fifth, basically. Yeah. Um, it, I look, it's not a bad move. I know it's you're kidding me. This guy was a first rounder a couple of years ago, I know, but that's the value around the league. It's just not there. It's just not uh, there. Um, um, so you, you Rob, guys, what? yes, Rob, Rob D Gun, what yes. Howie Roseman for president, at least mayor, <laughs> at least mayor. Well, he did draft him, Barrett, so maybe, yeah. we, maybe he's not. That's why mayor, I said right? at least mayor instead of president. Now, okay. see, this, this is all City the day after. Maybe. This is all the day after Howie Roseman came out and said, you know, uh, Jalen Rager, you know, had a great camp uh, and it was brought to my attention. He was the only player that practiced every day, which means he was dedicated, committed and so on and so forth. And I'm still, what did I say in this show? It ain't over yet. It well, ain't over. If you're bet, if the best thing you done. could say, well, the best thing you could say is he, he showed up for practice every day. You know, that's kind of damning with faint praise. It's not exactly, you know, this guy's been unbelievable. It's like, well, yeah, he was – it's like, hey, yeah, Bill showed up at the, uh, you know, in the warehouse every day. He wasn't the best worker in the world, but at least Bill showed up. I, I don't know, man. I, I just uh, – <laughs> both sides needed to change the scenery, right? I mean, no that, question I we'd about all, it. We'd all agree. I mean, it a was – A breath of fresh air. It's something that had to happen. Maybe this makes more sense for the roster spot with Book now. Maybe that's maybe that tells you why there was we you know the first thing we said was they're gonna have to make a roster spot for book. Maybe that makes sense now. But he go he goes to a pass happy offense. Yep. And he go he goes to the team to play with the guy that he's compared to, but because that guy's one of the best wide receivers in a the game, there's not much pressure on him right now. Yeah. They already have two front line receivers, two thousand yard receivers. Yep. You know, they're they're a team that's expected to do some so he can only be a plus. You got a quarterback that puts up great numbers in a regular season. So he'll go there and be a third or fourth wheel. And, I, you know, that's what he needs. He needs to go somewhere where the pressure's off him. People are not looking at him side eyed like they were in Philadelphia. Yeah. And I tell you, I'm looking at like they have Jefferson Thielen and KJ Osborne. That's a really strong three. Yeah. Their backups are just, yeah, they're okay. Uh, they got the Smith, uh, Marset, Jalen Naylor, Blake Prohl. Uh, you know, it, it's not it's not great behind those guys. So he's got a chance, you know, to, to at least carve out a career there if he ends up going there and he isn't a very pass happy, which should be a strong offensive, you know, team. It's actually not a bad spot for him. It really isn't. There went, there went my, my, my hopes that Vegas was going to be winning that division. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. No, I mean, I'm just playing, man, but uh, I mean, I'm, he does need a, he needs, he needs a new, new place to go with new scenery um an opportunity now to to work his way up you know what i'm saying with no bias uh you know no um no expectations of him to come in and being a number one anymore yeah he doesn't have that label on him anymore we'll see him here week two yeah so yeah. you know it's, it's don't let that dude come in here and catch a, catch a touchdown pass please i wonder who's returning punts yeah really so where'd he go hold on what Minnesota, Minnesota. Not, not Vegas. Minnesota. Not Vegas. Oh, Minnesota. I thought he went to, oh, he went to Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. Oh, okay. That That's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're working with Watkins to also return punt. I don't know. But that's uh, that would be something. I think the Howie – or, sorry, Nick is meeting with the media tomorrow. That would be one of the first things I would ask is, who's your who's your primary punt returner right now? Exactly. G-Meta, G-Meta stop playing, man. What's that? Eagles re-sign J. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's attorney uh, punts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all these comedians out of work and he would and better wanna wanna crack jokes, man. That's oh terrible. Oh my god. Um <laughs> all right.